How is it going guys? Jackson here with the Toasty Bros and today we're going to be unboxing the A10 7860K. Hope you guys enjoy. So Matt and I were very lucky to get our hands on one of these. So this is the really recently released A10 7860K. Now you can actually pick one of these up now on Amazon for $113. So it's a pretty good deal because it's an APU. So basically it's a CPU and a graphics card all in one, just in one chip. And in this one you can see it has a total of 12 compute cores. It has 4 CPU cores and 8 GPU cores. So it's basically a quad core processor and it fits the standard FM2 Plus socket that's already been out for a while and it also includes their new fan and heatsink that's supposed to be extremely quiet. And up top, as you can see, 4GHz Max Turbo, which is pretty insane to think about for an APU. But we're going to even see if we can overclock that even higher once we actually get this plugged into a board. Now in this video, it's just going to be the unboxing. Now. We're just going to see what the new cooler looks like, what the processor looks like, and then in a separate video, we're going to do a whole benchmarking test and also some gaming test. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into unboxing it. So we just have this little piece of tape which has the name on it. So we go ahead and open that and then from there it's pretty straightforward. So you just gotta your fan and heat sink will be in one box and then your CPU will be off to the side for display purposes. So as you can see it just comes in its own little plastic case and then it also comes with a little AMD sticker which has the a-Series Black Edition logo on it, which I don't even know, um, it seems like most processors nowadays are Black Edition. I remember when that was like, uh, like when the 6100 and the 4100 and all the, like the FX series, so they had the Black Editions, that was really cool, but now you kind of see it on all of them. So it comes with your little booklet here, which really is a little booklet, and it kind of just tells you everything about it, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> So the processor itself has a really nice finish to it, just like most other processors. It looks about the same. Here's the back of it for anyone who wants to see the pins in the back. And it just says AMD A10 7800 series on the back. And now let's check out that new cooler of theirs. If that was actually included with this, I'm not even totally sure if uh, it is the new cooler. So it would be a little embarrassing if it's not, but this, oh my god. So this is a really, <laughs> it's actually a pretty beefy cooler. Um, you can see it actually has the copper heat pipes on it, so that's really, really cool that the APUs now come with the copper heat pipes, which I don't know why, but I've always loved the copper heat pipes. Um, they're obviously good for a lot of reasons. One is the fact that they help displace heat, or, yeah, displace heat a lot more. Sorry, I couldn't talk there. Uh, thermal paste comes pre-applied, as it does with most uh, processors nowadays, which is really funny if you guys look at any of our videos, everyone calls us idiots for not applying thermal paste, but uh, it kind of comes on most of your heat sinks nowadays, but so yeah, you got your thermal paste applied, and you can see that this thing actually kind of has multiple levels to it. Um, I mean, like I said, it's really well built. It's pretty lightweight, uh, not that that really matters too much. You can see the fan is really sleek. It's not very tall at all compared to a lot of the other fans. Um, it is pretty sharp on the ends, which um, if you ever have had the, this is kind of like the same fan that's on the coolers that would come with like an 8350. Um, and it's kind of like, it almost looks like the same type of, um, heat sink and everything pretty much the same maybe a little more low profile than that one though and these fan blades are pretty dangerous so you don't want to stick your fingers in these they're really sharp I remember, I remember Matt and I were actually gonna put one of these into the toaster oven PC but it kind of chopped off our fingers and then some of the blades flew off it was a really bad time but you know we got a new fan though so now it's all good and we won't make that same mistake and then you can see it came with a four pin connector so this will just go on your CPU uh, fan connector on your motherboard. So as far as the unboxing goes, that's pretty much it for that. Like I said, we're going to have a whole another really big video that's going to be a bunch of benchmarks and gaming tests. And I'm sure we'll throw in a lot of other random stuff just like that. Uh, so you guys can really see how this thing actually handles with other components and um, different amounts of RAM and everything. So we hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and stay tuned for more videos.